Welcome to my scripting video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the house positions. It's fairly complex, um, so you're going to need all the skills that I've shown you so far if you haven't done this before. So let's show you the script. I'm going to call the radio alpha and it will spawn four, fit, four units in houses. So Here's one, here's another, and as you can see it's working fairly well. Now if we have a look what's going on in the script, we have a radio trigger. This is sending a marker into the fillhouse.sqf. This is our marker right here. So in the script itself we have our mm. marker, we get the position of the marker, which we then feed straight into the nearest position um, so this basically gets all the objects from our marker position that are called house in a 100 meter radius and puts them all into an array named house list so straight after doing this we're going to filter our house, house list so for each house in our house list we're going to check the building position, the first building position, and make sure it is a position. So to do this, we're putting our position into a string format, and if it equals 0, 0, 0, which is the corner of the map, then there is no position. Um, so it's not any use to us. In, in which case, we will remove this house from our house list so it's no longer in our array. We also have a small uh, function here that will display a marker on each house so let me show you this quickly change this to true and then relaunch our mission and when we call our script a dot will appear on each of the houses found in our 100 meter radius. If you're wondering what this dot is well this is the peer. So the peer count says houses. So let's go back to our script. I'm going to change that back to false. And next we have our house list which we're going to randomize. Um, we're doing this for using the biz function array shuffle. We're going to create a group for our units to spawn into. And we've got our private. Basically private means that it can these variables can be edited within um, other commands such as while loops and they'll be saved for other uh, to be used later on. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But first we have our for command so from i from 1 to units we've set the amount of units to spawn as 4 so from 1 to 4 do this so this is um, selecting our current house so we're getting our house list and we're selecting i which is 1 plus 1 each time the loop um, is run so this says 1, 2, 3, 4 each time and then we're creating our unit and we're going to spawn him on the marker position for now until we get our building positions. So here we have another filter. This while loop will keep running until we've got all our house positions. So what how this works is we get the building position of our current house which we've selected and in each loop we're going to add plus one to n so this says 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on until the house position is non-existent aka just the corner of the map in which case we will exit our loop by changing our variable and set the house posi positions as our n variable so after we've exited out we're going to get our, get our house position uh, our building position by just getting the random number within the positions so if 
the positions equal 6, then we'll get a random number from 0 to 6. Uh, and finally we put this number into our building position which will get our house, final house position which will set our unit and we'll set our unit at this house posi position. Whew, bit of a mouthful to get through that. Um, uh, and then finally we just disable the AI move and set the units so they're standing up and create a mark on them. Right, so let me show you this script once more in action. So we call our script using the radio command and you can see a marker is spawned on each unit and here we have our positions. So this basically shows that we have in this first one we have three positions and we but we selected zero. Second one we had five house positions but we selected number two and so on for all the others. Let's just have a quick look at the units, make sure they're acting normal. Yep. Yep. And yep. So everything appears to be going fine. Um, hope you find this video useful. I've linked the download mission, the downloads to this mission below the video, and a link to the Biz Studio wiki for finding house positions. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.